Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and we are still playing Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne bonus campaign. In the last episode, we escaped from Theramore Isle, returned here, and warned Vol'jin of what the butts is going on. In today's episode, we are going to head over to Mulgore to go seek the aid of the Tauren against uh, Admiral Theramore's Proudmore's... Yeah, Proudmore, that's his name. Admiral Proudmore's uh, horrible navy of racist human people that don't want to live peacefully with orcs despite the fact that we worked together to stop the Burning Legion from taking over Azeroth. Yep. Let's just enjoy, like, the run cycle of these guys for a second. Just, like, up, 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 up. Like, he runs so aggressively. Because he has his axes in hands. Do, 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 do. How does Rokon... Rokon's, like, so squat and weird. You know? I've got the scent. Wow, we didn't have to fight a single thing. Let's just look at Rokon for a second. Look at him. Look at... He's, like, constantly crouched and... He's got a really long white beard. I gotta be honest. I don't know if Rokon ever appears in World of Warcraft. Isn't that weird to you? He's a very important character. Obviously, Chen appears later on. And he's referenced from the very beginning. There was a quest in the Barrens called Chen's Lost Keg. And Chen taught some orcish brewmaster how to do things. Alright, Mulgore. Along the mesas of Mulgore, the Tauren have founded a new home for their people and the beasts of burden they brought with them. The Tauren have great respect for the orcs that helped them to establish their new home. So, hooray! Like I like how whenever we enter a new area, you Chen's... Oh. Cloak of Flames it makes a noise. Goes. I have never met a Tauren before, but their strength and courage are legendary. Hooray! Oh look, there he is. Cairn of the Bloodhoof Mulgore Tauren. Hey, Cairn, you gonna gonna talk to me, bro? Who are you, traveler? Why have you come here? I come in the name of Thrall, war chief of the Horde. His lands are in danger, and he calls upon his old allies to aid him. I seek the one known as Cairn. Do you know him? I am Cairn. But I can be of help to no one. Return to your war chief and tell him that I am dead. Just as my heart is dead. The barbarous centaur attacked our village recently. Our chieftain's only son, Bane, was taken captive. The centaur are cannibals and do not keep prisoners for long. We searched everywhere for a sign that Bane was still alive, but we found no trace of him. Poor Cairn has been lethargic for some time. Without his wisdom and leadership, I fear that the centaur will decimate our tribe. Perhaps if you could find some clue as to his son's fate, it might rouse the chieftain from his stupor. Find a bovin wind totem out on the plains. He and his brethren will aid you on your search. The music just got really epic. Did you did you guys hear that? It suddenly got really loud and epic right there at the I'll end. It kind of making it hard to listen to Tagar. With Cairn grieving as he is, many of our enemies have been gaining a foothold in our lands. The vicious harpies of the Stone Talon Mountains have been poaching our precious Kodo herds. The Kodo's meat and hides are essential to our survival, but the harpies slaughter the beasts and leave their carcasses to rot in the sun. It would be a great help if you would hunt the witches down and end their poaching once and for all. Alright, so I think that's what we will do this episode, is kill the harpies. I'm acting on instinct. Maybe make our way over to Bovan Wind Totem, but we're not going to do that part of the quest yet. It'll take too long, and I don't want this episode to last 32 minutes like the last one. Let's kill these quill boars. I don't know if Tagar exists in... Uh, World of Warcraft either. Although I never looked for him like I looked for Rokon. Rexar certainly exists. He's important. On the prowl. 
Although I think he might only exist Our in the Burning birds. Crusade. Oh no, look at the dead Kodos. Rotting Kodo husks. What a terrible waste. The harpies will pay for this sacrilege of nature. Yes, they will. Let's murder them. The kill the Wind Witch. There we go. And kill the rogues. Summon Quill Beast as often as we can so that we can have lots and lots of things that can attack air. Kill the Storm Hag. She puts us to sleep. Here we go. Go ahead and heal up. We don't want to lose all of our quill bores. Break that harpy nest. It had a scroll of the beast in it. Why not use it? Everybody has been beasted. Wait, I can summon berserkers. I really, really need to use my items more often. You guys should remind me in the comments every time I don't. Because I can, like, chain lightning every, like, all the time. I wonder how long... It doesn't say how long it takes. I'd like to time it. Just a general... Generalization of it. Oh, crap. Alright, next time. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about something else. That I don't even remember what I was thinking about. Lots of quill beasts. Keep going. I've got the scent. On More Kodo the husks. Poor Kodos. I'm on I love the Kodos. Look, look at his poor dead body. Look at the contour of, of his elephant-like leg. He's like a rhinoceros. Flush them out. Ah, oh, Kodo. Our poor, poor Kodo. All right. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. So it take I can use it like once every eight seconds. That's ridiculous. That seems like a bit of overkill. Summon another quill beast. Summon some more headhunters, why not? Yeah. Or I mean berserkers, they're not headhunters. They are upgraded to berserker status. We kill harpies pretty handily. Zap. Use that. And I guess I could use the glove of spell mastery if they ever summoned anything, but they do not do that. It's not a thing they do. More harpies to kill down here. Ooh, the harpy queen. Uh, Rokan, lay a serpent ward. Heal up. Make drunk. Breathe fire. Stormbolt. Summon a quill beast. Alright, there we go. We took care of that pretty handily. We slew the harpies, which means we can return to Tagar. Or Tagar. I don't know what his name actually is. Alright, let's, let's head back. Hey, Tagar! I like Tagar. It's like Tigger. Tagar. Tagar! We killed the hoppies. We murdered them. With our elemental weapons. Got we got fire. We got... Track. Uh... Beast? Is beast an element? Let's go with nature. We got fire. We got it's nature. We got really other fire. My I don't. Maybe Rokan has lightning because of the shaman claws. What lies before me? That song devolved quickly into nonsense. <laughs> Let's go speak with Tagar. We could buy things here. What the helm of valor do? Strength and agility of a hero. The mask of death. That's a good one. Gives you vampirism, allowing you to regain health. Oh, Tagar, speak to me. We are in your debt, warrior. The harpies will not trouble us again for many seasons. Still, I fear that without our chieftain's leadership, our tribe's prosperity will fade. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Did you give me anything for doing that? Or was that just out of the kindness of my heart? Oh, he gave me an amulet of spell shield. That is useless. Let me pick it up and I'll sell it. Drop that. Grab that. Sell it. It's worth 300, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing that I really want, considering how awesome the items are that we have. Strength and intelligence, agility and intelligence. Yeah, no, we don't want any more. Let's leave. Let's go find Bovan Wind Totem. Fight our way up there, find out what we gotta do, and we'll do that in the next episode. Let's go, let's go. Kill more Quillbores. There are Quillbores everywhere. I will summon Quill Beasts to fight the Quillbores. And a Serpent Ward, why not? And a heal here, and a make drunk there. Yeah. See, these ones are champions instead of chieftains, because the chieftain thing is weird. Because, remember they had, like, multiple chieftains for some weird reason? Weirdness. Okay, where are you going? Fight like a man. Fight like a boar man. You frickin' son of a flank steak. More quill bars? Whoa, that's a razor main destroyer. Make him drunk. Make him on fire. Frickin' stun him, why not? Summon that. Make a ward. Heal the bear. There we go. That was probably overkill, but he looked scary. He had a, a scary thing around him. He looked like a vampirism uh, aura. Oh dear, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I sneezed. My bad. Like, it, it's not my bad, but I didn't intend to sneeze. If you can believe that, I did not actually mean to sneeze. It's just something that happened to me. We kill these quill boys rather handily. It's pretty easy. What the? Oh, it was the Serpent Ward. I was like, I keep leaving things behind. Hey, Bovan Wintotem. Greetings, brother Wintotem. I was told you could help me locate Chieftain Bloodhoof's son. There may still be a chance that the boy lives, but we'll need to find the centaur encampment as quickly as possible. I see. I dreamed of this. Nag Radamash. That's the centaur encampment. They could be keeping Bane in one of those cages, but we'll have to fight our way to them. Alright, and then we gain access to the these spirit walkers. I dreamed of this. Also, most of the things that Bovan said in that conversation are just sound bites that he says when you click I on him. Alright, so, these guys, the uh, Torin spirit walkers, they can become ethereal or they can be spiritual. When they are ethereal, they cannot take damage except from magical attacks. So that's good. They deal magical damage when they're not like this. They have the ability to cast Spirit Link, which causes nearby, what, like four units to link together, distributing 50% of the damage they take across all of the other units. So that makes it so that Rokon's healing wave is super effective because everybody else is taking slightly more or slightly less damage, distributing it out amongst us. They also have the ability to disenchant, removing buffs from all units in a target area, also dealing damage to summoned units. I believe it is the same as Dispel, that spell that uh, elven priests have when you play as humans. And he also has the ability to cast Ancestral Spirit, which is the main reason you have him. He can revive a fallen Tauren unit with 100% of its hit points. So if we come across any Tauren bodies, as I'm sure we will, we can resurrect them, Flush them out. which is kind of amazing. We could also buy a bunch of spirit walkers and they're free so why not get Spirits one more the earth guide me cool what lies before All right. me so yeah that's the end of this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it click that like button if you did like it subscribe for more videos i update as often as i can and i will see you guys next time